Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of the Kaz. In this episode I am going to be doing a little repair job on an HO scale boxcar. So my dad got this boxcar, he was going to uh, do some sort of paint job for my son. Uh, but the thing is it, it is in a few pieces here. He probably got it on Amazon or eBay. Uh, the box says it's from a company called AHM. I'm not sure if this is actual the original box that this came in, but it says the finest HO trains from around the world. And here's some uh, engines on the side of it. Diesel locomotive 040 dockside train. Uh, Indiana Harbor Belt engine there. And Baltimore and Ohio switcher. Here's this side of it here. And there's another, another set of engines here on, on this side. And this, says, I guess the original price of this was 99 cents. So let me take this out of the box and see what we have. Okay, looks like we have the body of the car. It's missing a door here, which looks like it's here. Like here's the door. And it's one of the sliding doors here. I've seen on other ones, other box cars. Here's the bottom of it. Looks like it needs a coupling on this side. It already has a coupling on. It has a coupling on this side. It's missing the coupling here. It's got a bit of a weight to it. it looks like there's a piece of metal here that gives it gives it some weight to keep it down on the track instead of bumping around. And it looks like. This guy, from what I saw through the top, or through the, through the window, goes up here, and it's what's keeping the, it's what's keeping the door off of, off of the box car. So yeah, let's get to it. This looks like it's a little, just a simple glue job. So we'll see what, see what we have to do. So in order for it to slide, it just makes sense. It can slide like that. There has to be enough room when I glue this on that there's enough room for the door to s slide easily. So, let's see, let's put the door on. Is there a difference? Let's see. I'm going to assume that this is the bottom. Yep, because it has a little, a little the hardware here for the person to open it up with. So I'm just going to slide that in here. At the bottom. So this slides fine. Just have to make sure that I put do this right. Okay, this is a smoother part right here. I turn it over, there's a track there. It looks like this guy right here is a spacer that keeps it away from the body of the boxcar. So let me just slide this. down as much as I can. I'm going to put this, it looks like there's a hole here, there's a hole right here that this will go in right there. So let me just size that up. And that pretty much goes like that. Let me see about the spacer. Where does that spacer go? Spacer looks like it goes into a slot in there. This may be one of these things where maybe it's just not going to be able to slide at worst, it's just not going to slide. It's just going to be stationary, and maybe I can just keep it open for display. Oh, maybe we'll see. I think it's just a matter of me just keeping the door here and gluing the space that spacer and this peg here. So let me get this super glue here. Throw it over the plate here. A little dab there. A little dab. There we go. And let me put a little dab across the spacer here. Drag it across. Not too much, but it's okay. I should have the tweezers doing this, but it's okay. No big deal. Probably just have to stay in an open position here. Just like that. Let's press it down. And this is a little floppy here. You can see how it's floppy there. The peg must be a peg on this side that broke off. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to Put a dab of glue, it's from the bottom so you don't really see it from the top. Put a little dab of glue 
little dot right there just to keep it in place. A little piece of plastic here I'll just smooth this out here. It's not bad. Maybe I'll come back to it and see how floppy it is. But that seems okay. What's going on here? It looks like this. This guy's a little this guy came off here. Let me just glue him down. Try to keep my hand from blocking it, but we'll see. Let's lift this up. There we go. Just a drop. Just a drop right underneath there. That's all it needed. That yeah, side's a little floppy, but it's not that too bad. Now, let's try to see about putting it onto the wheels there. The carriage, whatever you want to call it. Probably has a name, but. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see how this fits on here. I mean, it doesn't seem that complicated. It's just a rectangular, rectangular carriage there that it just pops, it just pops on. So maybe I'll just put a bead down the side because it doesn't actually fit on top of this. We could just keep it on there like that, but I don't see the point of that. Um, so. I'll just put a bead along the on the side here of this. So when it slides on it'll spread. So here we go. It looks like this is an Alton and Southern boxcar. Never heard of that before. It's pretty obscure, I'm thinking. Nice and smooth. Nice smooth bead of glue. The one side. Let's pick it up and I'll just hold it. And then do the other side. I don't think I need to do the ends. I think the sides will be good enough. And just put it down. And just lower the body down onto the wheels here. There you go. There you go. A little press. I feel like I have something on my fingers, but it's not the that super glue. I did squeeze out a little bit, but it's not that bad. Once it dries, it's not going to be noticeable. Yeah, my dad said he's going to repaint this somehow for my son. It has to do with one of his cartoon shows. But that's it. I think uh, it's a good space there. The wheels are moving fine. But there you have it. That's it for this episode of the Kaz. Thanks for coming and watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.